Welcome back to Bible Stories, where we explore the rich tapestry of spiritual wisdom and divine revelations found within the sacred texts of the Bible. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey through the heavenly realms as described in the Book of Enoch. This ancient text unveils a captivating cosmology, detailing the ten levels of heaven and the encounters of the prophet Enoch with celestial beings. Join us as we delve deep into these mystical revelations and uncover profound insights into the spiritual dimensions beyond our earthly existence. Enoch's visionary experiences provide a unique perspective on the divine order, offering glimpses into realms inhabited by angels, fallen beings, and the majestic presence of God himself. As we navigate through each heavenly level, we'll discover the significance of righteousness, the consequences of rebellion, and the eternal promises reserved for the faithful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest explorations of biblical narratives. Remember to leave a like, comment, and share this video with your church group, family, and friends. Together, let's deepen our understanding of the sacred scriptures and draw closer to the Most High. The Book of Enoch delineates ten distinct levels of heaven. Enoch was guided to each heaven by an archangel, witnessing the unique inhabitants and phenomena of each realm. Some entities in the higher heavenly realms terrified Enoch to the point of causing him to collapse in fear. In this presentation, I will delve into the details of each level of heaven described in the Book of Enoch. Before I begin, let me clarify my purpose. I aim to lead you towards the Most High. I do not encourage the worship of angels or any heavenly figures other than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All right? Now that this is settled, let's explore the ten levels of heaven. The opening of To Enoch speaks of a wise and skilled craftsman whom the Lord took away, showing him the highest realms, the incredibly wise, great, inconceivable, and unchanging kingdom of God Almighty. It also mentions the marvelous, glorious, radiant, and many-eyed abode of the Lord's servants, His immovable throne, and the orderly ranks of angelic armies. This passage describes how the Lord esteemed Enoch highly, bringing him to heaven while he was still alive. The only other individual known to ascend to heaven while alive is the prophet Elijah. As we delve deeper into the book of Enoch, Enoch recounts his encounter with the angels who escorted him to heaven. He describes dreaming of these beings entering his room and awakening to find them standing before him, men with faces like the sun, eyes resembling burning lamps, fire emanating from their mouths, adorned in various singing garments, wings more radiant than gold, hands whiter than snow. They stood at his bedside, addressing him by name, and assured him not to fear, for they were sent by the eternal God to bring him to heaven. Today, the first level of heaven is situated directly above the firmament that covers the earth. According to biblical accounts, the firmament is depicted as a dome-shaped structure above the earth. This concept of the firmament is echoed in various ancient cultures. The Book of Enoch also describes encountering a vast body of water, much larger than any earthly ocean, above this firmament. In Genesis 1-7, God separates the waters under the firmament from those above it, establishing this celestial water. Enoch describes his journey to the first heaven, where he was carried by angels on their wings to the clouds, perceiving the higher air and the ether. He observed a massive ocean surpassing earthly dimensions. In this heaven, Enoch encountered mysterious elders and 200 angels who govern the stars. Moving to the second heaven, Enoch witnessed a darkness more profound than anything on earth and saw imprisoned beings awaiting judgment, specifically fallen angels known as the Watchers. Enoch questioned why these beings were tormented, and he was informed that they had rebelled against the Lord's commandments. The third heaven that Enoch experienced was a paradise reserved for the righteous, promising inheritance to those who perform good deeds. 
Enoch beheld a breathtaking landscape filled with flowering trees, ripe and fragrant fruits, and the majestic tree of life. This heavenly place is described as a bridge between the corruptible and incorruptible realms, with streams of honey, milk, oil, and wine flowing through. Enoch marveled at this heavenly paradise, tended by three hundred bright angels who worshipped the Lord continually. He learned that this place was prepared for the righteous. In verse 9, the righteous are described as those who endure various hardships in life, afflict themselves, avoid injustice, administer fair judgment, provide food to the hungry, clothe the naked, assist the fallen and injured, care for orphans, live blamelessly before the Lord, and worship Him alone. A place of eternal inheritance awaits them. Enoch, taken to the northern part of heaven, witnesses a dreadful place within the third heaven, filled with torment and darkness, highlighted by a mysterious black fire. This location evokes thoughts of hell, especially when Enoch observes a river of fire similar to the biblical depiction. Angels inform Enoch that this place is for those who fail to glorify God, specifically those engaged in witchcraft, divination, demon dealings, boasting of evil deeds, theft, lying, insults, coveting, resentment, fornication, illicit living, oppressing the poor, defrauding others, and idol worship. For these individuals, this tormenting place serves as an eternal retribution. Following this, Enoch is led to the fourth heaven. This is where the paths of the sun and moon are situated. Let me explain further. In verse 11, it is written that men took me up to the fourth heaven and showed me there all the movements and patterns of solar and lunar light. I observed their paths and compared their brightness, noting that the sun's light is seven times greater than that of the moon. I saw the sun's circular path and its wheels, on which it continuously moves with remarkable speed like the wind, never resting day or night. Accompanying the sun are four great stars on each side, each with 1,000 stars under them, making a total of 8,000 stars perpetually following the sun. Additionally, 150,000 angels accompany the sun during the day, while 1,100 angels precede the sun's chariot at night, resembling six-winged beings of flaming fire, and the sun sets these 100 angels ablaze. Moving to the fifth heaven, this is where the Watchers, also known as the Grigori, reside. They appear human-like, but are giant in stature. These are the angels who fathered children with human women, resulting in the Nephilim. For more details on this topic, refer to the linked video discussing the Watchers. In the sixth heaven, there are seven groups of exceedingly bright angels, even brighter than the sun. According to Seca Seca Enoch 19, these angels meticulously observe the movements of stars, the sun's orbit, lunar phases, and cosmic harmony. They maintain order by enforcing commandments and singing glorious praises when they witness any wrongdoing. Here he witnessed the fiery armies of archangels, dominions, cherubim, seraphim, and other powerful celestial beings. Enoch was guided by Archangel Gabriel through the remaining three heavens after two men angels left him, leaving him terrified and prostrate before God. Enoch then describes the eighth heaven, named Muoth in Hebrew, which governs seasonal changes and the zodiac constellations above the seventh heaven. The ninth heaven, called Kavim in Hebrew, houses the celestial abodes of the zodiac signs. Finally, the tenth and ultimate heaven is where God resides. Enoch describes God's face as resembling iron glowing in a furnace, emitting sparks of supreme awe and fear. Jerubim and celestial armies sing in this heavenly abode. Overwhelmed by fear, Enoch is prepared by Archangel Michael, removing his earthly garments and anointing him with radiant spiritual oil, making Enoch resemble the heavenly angels. If you enjoyed this content, please like the video and explore similar topics in the linked playlist. As we conclude our exploration of the Book of Enoch's heavenly realms, we are left in awe of the divine mysteries and spiritual truths revealed through Enoch's visionary encounters. Each level of heaven unveils a facet of God's eternal kingdom, reinforcing the importance of righteousness, obedience, and faithfulness in our earthly lives. 
We hope this journey has enriched your spiritual understanding and inspired deeper reflection on the wonders of God's creation. Remember, the revelations of Enoch serve not only as a testament to the supernatural realms, but also as a call to align our lives with the divine will. Thank you for joining us on Bible Stories. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more profound insights into the scriptures. Your support through likes, comments, and shares helps us spread the message of faith and spiritual enlightenment. Share this video with your church community, family, and friends, and together, let's continue to deepen our journey into the timeless wisdom of the Bible. Until next time, may God's blessings be upon you all.